Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we've got something special for you. It is an exclusive, kind of, not not really, but you know, let's get into it. All the way back in August of 2021, Chris and Sarah made a random visit to their favourite little shop of horrors, meeting the ever-lovely Vicky Twattle in said scary dolly shop. We were actually just talking about that, what sparked off our special friendship that we have when I came in and bought Esme's Avia doll, which is so, so cute. Memories of bygone days came flooding back. There was that time that they found the hidden gem one Sunday afternoon in Leeds. Alyssa, can I have a doll? Isn't she beautiful? Did Santa bring her? And is she Avia's new sister? Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. So girls, we have a little... Then, the time that they began the fabulous collaboration which would set off a chain of events which would ultimately finish off both of their businesses. The video of Esme opening First Reborn doll in 2016. I used the payment plan when I came in and got her. Or what about the time they hid Jace in the shittle shop in the mother of all pranks? That was quite the experience, wasn't it? Buy that one, please. Which one's the real one? <laughs> <laughs> that is so, so no, cute. Literally doesn't even look real, Dad. Or how about the times to end all times when they brought out the ultimate dream for any child, which was having a replica doll made of yourself so hundreds of strangers could hold and cuddle you? That sounds like the ultimate dream that any child could possibly have. Has he been a good boy, girls? Yeah. Let's have a look at him. Jace! He's asleep, isn't he? Oh, he's fast asleep. Little cheeky boy. Or what about the time those same strangers attended a tea party to meet the real baby behind the replica? Nothing at all creepy about that, is there? No. I'm gonna go see who's here. Morning, guys. What's your favourite? Who's down there? Say good morning. Not strange enough for you? Well, fast forward to New Year's Day 2022 and Sarah sat down or knelt down, messy, untidy backdrop, real professionalism right there. And she launched the latest in the scary replica baby dolly series. So, babe, pass me Mila. No, not that one. Oh. Not that one. This one. Oh my goodness, my little Mila Mila. <laughs> so as lots of you guys know, we did a collaboration with the amazing, incredibly talented Mary Shortle on a baby Jace doll when Jace was born. And when we had the opportunity to do a collaboration again with our little girl Mila, we jumped at the chance because to us, it's something so, so, so special that our children and we get to be part of and something that they'll be able to keep and have as like a memory, a treasure. And it's something cool to tell the grandkids when they grow up, right? Yeah. They had a doll in representation of themselves in yeah. a shop. It's so cool. It's so cool. Mila was just weeks old when she met Scary Shortle for the first, well, for the first one and only time for the one for the only time she's met her imagine imagine only wanting to meet a friend's baby solely for the purpose of making them into a real life chucky doll within sarah's well rehearsed product launch the subject of another meetup was mentioned 
So another optional extra that you can purchase if you want to with your Baby Mila doll is a ticket to come to a really special meet and greet to meet us, the Ingham family, and the real Baby Mila. This was something that we were able to include in the price of Baby Jace last time. However, we didn't feel like that worked as well and was fair on everyone. So basically, the price of Jace included the ticket and that meant that everybody could come. However, some people weren't able to make the meet and greet. So they weren't able to come for various reasons, health reasons. There was people that lived too far away. There was people that had commitments. There was people that just just couldn't come for a different variety of reasons and we didn't feel like it was fair that they'd paid as part of their doll package to come and meet us when they weren't able to and so we thought a fairer way to do it this time was instead of including the meet and greet in the price we'd have it as an added optional extra so instead of doing Mila for the price that would include the meet and greet we've split it so that you can have the option to add on the meet and greet if you want to come or if you know you can't come you live too far away you have anxiety or don't like being in big spaces that was a main reason for quite a few of you guys who couldn't come to the Jace meet and greet um, you don't have to pay the extra to do that. I do want to make very very clear that we're not making money from the meet and greet. We've merely deducted the amount of the meet and greet ticket from the original price of the Mila doll. But if you do want to come, then you will receive a gift bag worth more than the price of the ticket to come and meet us. So you'll be getting the whole of your money back in the, what's the word, in the way of a gift bag when you come to the meet and greet. Not quite the tea party this time, but more a paid for meet and greet. £25 to be exact. £25 it would cost the IFAM to meet the little Mila. Last time it was inclusive of the reborn cost. Not now though. Clearly believe that they are worth the price. Either that or they have some financial irregularities. Thing is, when the hell is the meetup? I mean, I know you got to buy the doll for £299 and then there's the ticket cost of £25. So that's a total of £324. But when shall I book my train ticket for? Or my hotel? You know, I've got things to buy. You know, I need to know. The product listing doesn't actually say not even a location i mean which direction should i head in on the train it is quite the conundrum i guess the only thing to do would be to ask the scary one herself so the other day a notice went up to say the invitations had gone out to the event of the year so I ask the question, is there still time to get a ticket? If so, when and where will it be? This prompted the reply, you can purchase your ticket with the baby Mila Reborn. Right, okay, so it's not really what I asked, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't know. This, this shocking, this is just, this is stupid, right? Refusing to tell a customer where an event will be that they will be buying. I, I just, logic, it, right there, I don't know. In, as Chris would say, the marketing is shit, right? Seriously, have you ever heard anything like it? Imagine Ed Sheeran, right, or any of the other bands or people that you like to to go and watch, right? But imagine Ed Sheeran saying, please, please buy my gig tickets, but I won't tell you when or where it will be until the week before the event, you know? I mean, they wouldn't sell any tickets, would they? So Chris, Sarah, and the scary one, take a bow you three are quite the trio of, of just 
the business people of the year, seriously. But Chris and Sarah, seriously, with your secret kiddie meetup, nothing at all dodgy about that whatsoever. Do the parents of these kids not wonder why you're not, you know, wonder why their kids need to go to a secret meeting with your family? <laughs> it's just weird. I'm sorry. I I don't really have any words. I Personally, I think that this should get picked up by the media. Speaking of the media, and I'm not claiming to be the media, okay? But if you like, click the link in the description, there is a link to an article that I've written. And you may have noticed I've done some before. That's my website, so please click on that and read more about the story because it's fabulous, honestly. So... Chris, Sarah, have fun at your tea party or whatever you're calling it this time. Everybody else, please have a lovely day. Take care. Until next time, please give this video a thumbs up and comment everything you want to comment down below because it helps me out so much. And subscribe to the channel because we're heading towards 9,000 subs. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.